Okay, good morning. Today is Tuesday, September 22nd, and we are about to begin our traditional Pilates class. So all we need today is a mat. We need our brain connected to our breath and our body. Um, that's all we need. Um, if, this, if you're just starting out in Pilates, think of it like a journey. Don't try to get it all done in one class. The more you do it, the more sense it makes. I will show different levels. A level one move is going to be more basic than a level four, so do what suits your body best. I also try to keep us moving so the body stays warmed up, so if you need more time in between exercises, take as much time as you need. Listen to your body. Things we have to watch out for, holding our breath. It's very important to breathe. If I happen to say exhale and you inhale, as long as you're breathing, I'm happy. The more you do it, the more you'll figure out how the breathing works and how it really enhances your movements. We also have to make sure that we're not overusing the lower back, which is part of our core, but we want to really make the abdominals the primary activator of our movement. So if your lower back starts to bug you, you know something is not right with your form. So you need to regroup, take a break, figure out what you're doing, and then come back in. Third thing we have to watch out for is pulling on the poor neck. Just to keep the head off the floor, the goal is to engage the abdominals to actually lift the upper body off the floor, pressing through the back of the rib cage. So just the shoulders round up and we form kind of a C shape with our body. That's engaging the core and you're not using your neck to pull yourself off the floor. So again, if your neck starts to bug you, you take a break, you regroup and join back in when you can. All right, so um, make this your own practice. This is all about you for the next hour, so we're gonna focus on movement and breath. And by the time we're done, hopefully, we will feel empowered and ready to face whatever this day has to throw at us. And it seems like every day there's some new challenge. So hopefully this will help us prepare for that. First thing we're gonna do is relax. So let's go down on our backs. Let your arms be restful. Let your sides, palms open face to the sky. Start to breathe deeply in through your nose. Expand your belly back and ribcage on the inhale. On the exhale, breathe out through the mouth. And while we're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, let's bring awareness to our arms. And I want you to breathe from your shoulders to your fingertips. And while you're doing that, think about tensing the muscles in your arms so you feel a really long stretch. The rest of the body remains soft and relaxed. Then go ahead and relax your arms and we'll shift our awareness to our legs and let's breathe from our hips to our toes. So we wanna activate the muscles in the legs, stretching from hips to toes and then flex your heels. It's actually pushing out through your heels. Again, we're just activating the legs but the rest of the body is now soft. Now let the legs relax. And let's do the same with the abdominals. We're gonna pull down on the back side of your navel. Hold it tight against your spine without holding your breath, without tensing the rest of your body. And let that release. Try again, navel to spine, hold it in super tight. And let it release. Once more, we're gonna tighten the belly, hold it in super tight and release. Now let's inhale the arms skyward and as we exhale, reach behind us. Stretch out through your fingers, push out through your heels. Make your body super long and super straight. And then feel your body go soft. Let's inhale the arms back up. Exhale, return them to your sides. Once there, we're gonna draw the right knee into the chest and just do a flexing point with our right foot. And then roll the ankle, lead with your big toe towards that midline of the body. And then go back to flex and point. And then just hold your foot flex and spread your toes out really wide. And then let your foot relax. And we'll switch, bring the other knee in and flex and point. Roll the ankle around, lead with your big toe. And then come back to flex point. And then flex your foot, spread your toes out really wide. 
and then we'll let our foot relax. Now let's bring both knees in. Start out with a nice tight hug. And once we're hugged in, we're gonna rock a few times side to side, feel a massage on either side of your spine. And then we're back to neutral. Let's circle our knees around and around, massage through the lower back. And then let's reverse. And then just hug your knees in tight, tight, tight. While they are tight in the belly like we practice, press through the back of your rib cage, round up nose to knees, chin to chest, and roll back down. Try again, tighten the belly, round up nose to knees, chin to chest, and release. Once more, round up nose to knees, chin to chest, we're gonna stay right there. Make a triangle with your thumb and index fingers, place that lightly on the back of your head. We'll separate our knees, heels touching, toes apart. As we inhale, we're gonna push the legs out straight, exhale back in, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two more, inhale, one more, inhale, exhale. Now this time as we push out, big toes meet, heels apart, exhale, pull in, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, two more. Inhale, one more. Inhale, exhale. I'll bring knees and feet together. Scrunch your toes. Press through your arches. Pull back in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Keep going, but flex your feet. Press through your heels. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, two more. Inhale, one more. Inhale. Exhale, now from there, just extend the legs out straight into a little point flex with your feet. So we've got four, and three, and two, and one. Stay right there, arms at your sides off the mat. Start to pump firmly. Inhale for five beats, and exhale for five beats. Level two modification, you can bend your knees. Level one modification, you can rest your feet on the mat. But notice that in all three levels, we are still keeping the head, neck, shoulders lifted, and the arms are pumping a good six to eight inches high, using the whole arm from the shoulders to the fingertips. One more round. Hold yourself up, tuck your knees in, rest your head down, and breathe. All right, now that we feel warmed up, let's move into some roll-ups. Roll-ups are gonna start with the knees bent, feet on the floor, legs pressed together. Arms behind us, restful on the mat, shoulders relaxed. So if you can only roll partially up, that's okay. The goal is to use your belly and not engage hip flexors. So we inhale, the arms come up, shoulders drop back. Exhale, scoop the belly in to peel you up, come up as far as you can. Big inhale, and then exhale, let's roll back down. Inhale, arms come up. Drop the shoulders back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, tuck and roll down. Again, inhale, arms come up. Shoulders drop back. Exhale, scooping the belly in to peel you up. Stretch as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, back down. Inhale, arms come up. Shoulders drop back. Exhale, scooping the belly in. Come up as far as we can. Inhale. Exhale, tuck and roll. Now, if you're confident that you're not using your legs, stretch them out straight. Inhale, arms up. Shoulders drop back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Inhale, exhale, tuck, and we roll back down. Again, inhale, arms up. Shoulders drop back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, tuck, and roll down. Inhale again, arms come up. Shoulders drop back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can. Inhale. Exhale, tuck, and we melt back down. Inhale, arms come up. Drop the shoulders back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can. Inhale. Exhale, tuck, and roll down. Let's try one more. Inhale, lift your arms. Drop your shoulders back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can. Inhale. Exhale, tuck, and roll back down. Now that we're down, we'll just stretch it all out. And then let's bring the knees to the chest. Give yourself a nice tight hug. Tighten the belly. Let's come back up into our C-shape. 
Now arms at our sides, palms facing up, arms are off the mat, elbows bend, fingertips touch shoulders. Then inhale, push out straight, open and close legs, exhale, tuck knees, and then elbows, inhale, push straight, open, close, exhale, knees, 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 Elbows, inhale, push straight. Open, close, exhale, knees, try two more. Inhale, push straight. Open, close, exhale, knees, one more. Inhale, push straight. Open, close, exhale, knees, and elbows. Let's tuck our knees in. Rest our head down and breathe. Whew. All right, from here, we're ready for some leg circles. So let's rest our feet on the mat. Knees are back. We're gonna stretch one leg towards the ceiling. Now you can keep that other knee bent with your foot on the mat, or if you'd rather, you can push that leg out straight. But we wanna make sure that this leg reaching to the ceiling stays perfectly straight. Arms at our sides, palms facing up. We're gonna circle the leg towards the midline, and then out and up. Now each circle should be about the size of a large beach ball. Okay, and it has its own beginning and its own end point. So it's not continuous. There's a little pause in between each one. Notice the rest of the body is not moving. Last two. One more. Now same thing but the other side. Out and in and then up. Around and down and up. And again, we're always thinking about crossing the midline of the body. We're not taking that leg out past the edge of our hip. Last two, here's one, and hold right there. And I'll bring the other leg up. All right, and both legs are gonna lower down together, sweep out and around and come up. Inhale down, exhale around. Now notice on these that we're keeping the belly super tight so you're not feeling this in your lower back. If you are feeling it in your lower back and you've got those abs as tight as you can, make your circles a little smaller. Inhale down, exhale around. And as we circle the legs out and around, we want to make sure that we're not extending them out past the hips. Inhale down, exhale, let's do two more. Inhale down, one more. Inhale down, exhale around, and hold there. Now, let's switch legs. So we'll keep the other leg straight. Other knee is bent, foot on the mat for level one, or push it out for level two. Crossing towards the midline, out and up. Drawing those large beach balls on the ceiling directly above us. Last two, one more. Now let's go the other way, out and around, in and up. Last two, one more, and just hold your leg there. Now let's bring the other leg up. This time the legs sweep around and down, they come together, exhale, come up, inhale around, exhale, pull. So again, I'm making sure as we're doing this that we're not feeling this in the lower back. Inhale around, exhale, pull, inhale around, exhale, pull, inhale around. How about two more, inhale around. Last one, inhale around, exhale and stay. So now I've got toes on the ceiling, both legs circle to the right, and then let's come back around to the left. So now our circles are gonna stay about the size of a basketball, directly on the ceiling above us. And instead of doing heels in, toes out, I'm doing toes in and heels out. Little internal rotation versus external rotation. One last set, one last circle, 
and we're there. Ooh, tuck your knees in and breathe. All right, let's roll up. I'm sticking to my mat. All right, so I'm nice and warm. Hopefully you are as well. And we are ready to work on spine stretch. So for spine stretch, we need to be able to sit up really, really straight and tall. So if you have problems with tight hamstrings, it makes it really hard to sit with your legs straight and your back straight. So you could take a pillow and you could sit on it. And that will elevate your hips just enough that when you sit up straight, you can keep your legs straight and your back straight. We're gonna keep our legs apart no wider than our hips. Arms extend out, palms facing up, and notice my arms are in a straight line with my shoulder. So we're gonna stay like that the whole time. We're not gonna lower or lift the arms. And our shoulders are gonna remain over our hips. So we're working with just the belly and the back together. We inhale to prepare. Exhale, we're gonna scoop the belly, and while that's happening, round your spine, drop your chin, your chest, push out through fingers and feet. Inhale, lift back up, lower, middle, upper spine, head. Try again, exhale, scooping the belly and round your spine. Drop your chin to your chest, push out through fingers and feet. Inhale, lift back up, lower, middle, upper spine, and head. Exhale, scoop again, round the spine, drop your chin to your chest, push out through fingers and feet, round, round, round. Inhale, lift up, lower, middle, upper spine, and head. Try again, exhale, scooping the belly and round your spine. So notice how connected your abdominals are to your spine. Inhale back up, lower, middle, upper spine, head. Try again, exhale, scooping the belly and round your spine. Drop your chin to your chest, push out through fingers and feet. Inhale, lift back up, lower, middle, upper spine, and head. One more time, exhale, scoop the belly and round your spine. Drop your chin to your chest, push out through fingers and feet. Inhale, lift back up, lower, middle, upper spine, and head. And then ah, let the arms come down. Do a couple shoulder rolls from back to front. Very good, and if you're using an elevation, you can come off of that. And from here, let's bend the knees, bring our thighs Right up close to the body, hands under our thighs. All right, and then find your balance on your tailbone. So we're gonna keep big toes touching, knees slightly open, shoulders drop, chin to chest, nose to knee. This would be level one. Level two, we can bring the hands across the shin. So we're using only the belly to pull us back and only the belly to bring us back up again. Rolling like a ball. Think about keeping all tucked in, but do not scrunch your shoulders into your ears. No tension in the neck, and roll at your own pace. Be very conscious of when you're rolling back that you're not rolling onto your neck. And if you've got yourself all tucked in, it's gonna be hard to find your neck. Let's try one more. And once we've completed our final roll, we're gonna stay tucked in, but then extend the left leg out and rock back until the back of your uh, rib cage is on the mat, head, neck, and shoulders are up. Left hand, right knee, right hand, right ankle, elbows up, we alternate. Single, leg stretch. Here's eight, and six, and four, and three, and two, big hold. Switch hold, switch hold, switch one more, switch hold. Now let's bring both knees in. Double leg stretch, you can rest your hands on your ankles, your shins, or the tops of your feet. As we inhale, start reaching up. Stretch the arms and legs out straight. Exhale, sweep the arms around, tuck the knees in. Inhale, stretch, exhale, pull. Let's 
do one more like this. And then we're gonna send the arms the other way. So they go go out and up and then pull in. Inhale, exhale. Last two. Final one. Hold right there. All right, now it's straight single leg stretch. So our right leg is straight. Walk your hands up as close to your ankle as you can. Send the other leg up as well. And think about drawing the right leg towards your face. While that's happening, we'll pull the left leg away and then switch. So remember, your hands are merely a guide for your legs. You should not be yanking or forcing anything. about four more, three, two, and one. Good, now let's bring both legs together. Make your triangle thumb and index fingers. Level one, insert under your butt. That's gonna help your lower back and your belly. Level two, triangle lightly back of your head. We all inhale, drop slowly, one, two, three. Exhale, the legs snap up, inhale, lower. Exhale, pull. So notice when I'm pulling my legs up, that I'm not lifting my butt. Inhale down, exhale, pull. So inhale down, we're pulling up with the legs and we're pulling down with the belly. Let's try two more. One more. Hold it, all right? From there, let's rest your head down for a moment. Knees can come in. And then we're back up into our C-shape. And again, triangle for everybody, but this time on the back of the head. Right knee and left leg straight. We'll start with just the legs, straight in, straight out. In, 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 stretch, stretch. Four, three, two, big hold, lift a little higher. Opposite armpit crosses to knee, and then we switch. Lift, twist, lift, twist, lift, twist, lift, twist. So remember to lift up before you add your rotation. Lift, twist, lift, twist, and it's armpit to knee, not elbow. So you have to really lift up and rotate. Lift, twist, lift, twist, lift, twist, lift, twist. Lift, twist. We've got eight and six and four, three, two, big hold. Switch hold. Switch hold. One more. Switch hold. Knees tuck in. Rest your head down and breathe. All right, from there, let's rest our feet down, arms go wide. Let your knees fall right, eyes look left. Come back up, we'll let our knees drop left and eyes look right. Good, and then come back to neutral. Now let's face the feet apart about hips distance. Slide your arms in closer to your body, palms facing open. We want enough space between our hips, our glutes and our heels that when we lift up into bridge, we're activating the hamstrings and the gluteals we don't want to feel it so much in the thighs or the knees. So make sure you've got your feet the right, in the right place. So we're going to tighten the belly and then slowly peel off the mat. Press up into bridge. Again, keep the weight out of your neck. And then exhale equally as slowly. Let's come back down one segment at a time. Again, tighten the belly as we slowly peel up. Pressing our hips nice and high, holding onto bridge. And then exhale as we melt back down. Again, we're going to tighten the belly and slowly peel up, finding your way into your bridge. Maintain and hold there. And then exhale as we come back down. Again, tightening the belly as we're slowly peeling up, pressing our hips into our bridge. And then exhaling as we come back down. Inhale as we slowly peel up, pressing and coming up into our bridge. And then exhale as we come back down. Once more, let's tighten the belly and slowly come up into our bridge. Now let's stay in bridge. Bring right knee into chest, extend your leg straight. Roll and lift that leg. Flex, point, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Let's do four and three. Here's two and 
one, stay holding. Circle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, big hold. Flex your heel, drag the foot down, slide it back into place. Still holding bridge, switch legs. Knee in, descend to the sky, lower and left, flex, point, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Four, three, two, and one. Hold up. Circles one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Big hold. Flex your heel. Drag it down. Slide your foot back into place. Continue to bridge up. Hold. And melt down. One segment at a time. Ooh, and then once we're down, knees to chest. A uh, couple knee circles, massage to that lower back. And reverse. And that's another good one that really connects your belly to your back. It really highlights how connected they are. All right, let's go ahead and roll up. So now we're ready for row number one. Row number one, we're gonna keep our legs pressed together. Gonna make a fist with our hands. You're gonna press your knuckles together, thumbs pointing down. So you're actually looking at the back of your hands with your elbows shoulder level. Gonna inhale and start scooping back. On the exhale, arms extend. We're gonna open wide, swan dive forward, hook your hands together, inhale up higher, and then exhale, come around, touch your toes. We're back up to try again. Knuckles together, thumbs down. Inhale up, scoop back. Exhale, arms extend, swan dive forward, inhale up higher. And exhale, reach for toes. Come back up, try again, knuckles together, thumbs down. Inhale, scoop back. Exhale, arms extend, fold forward, inhale, lift higher. Exhale, reach to toes. And we're back up, knuckles together, thumbs point down. Inhale, scoop back. Exhale, arms extend, folding forward, inhale, lift up higher. And exhale, reach for toes. And then we're back up, knuckles together, thumbs down. Inhale, scooping back. Exhale, arms extend, fold the body forward. Inhale, lift higher. Exhale, reach to toes. And we're back up. Again, knuckles together, thumbs are down. Inhale as we scoop. Exhale, arms extend, fold the body forward. Inhale, lift up higher. Exhale, reach to toes. And we're back up. One more time, knuckles together, thumbs down. Inhale, let's scoop back. Exhale, arms extend. Fold the body forward. Inhale, lift up higher. And then exhale, stretch to your toes. And then from there, we'll come back up. Now let's bend our knees, place our hands behind our thighs. And this time we're gonna keep the back super straight with the shoulders dropped open. Find your balance on your tailbone. And then when you're ready, we'll start lifting the legs. Go as high as you can without rounding your back. And then let's rebound. Try again, let's extend higher and higher and higher. Hold it. And rebound. One more time, we're gonna extend. And once we found that place, let's add the arms. And then lower and lift just the arms down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. We've got four, and three, and two, and one. Big hold. Now let's open slowly down, down, down to the ground. Once down, flex your feet, push out through your heels, stretch your body straight. Breathe. Ooh, all right, so now we're gonna keep the leg straight that's closest to me, bend the back knee, foot on the mat so you can roll sideways, and we're gonna be on our side. We're gonna start out parallel to the edge of our mat. Here's our option, shoulder over elbow, rib cage off the mat or down on straight arm with our palm facing up. All right, so we don't want to get comfortable bending the elbow. We want to get it nice and straight so that we have to work really hard at not rolling around. We're going to move our legs to the front edge of our mat and then take a little past that. All right, once there, top leg is going to lift and lower. Point, flex. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, now let's reverse, make it a flex, then a point. Up, down, up, down, up. Two more, up, 
one more up down and stay trace a line up your thigh with your toe drop your knee down up extend flex and lower so point pull drop open extend flex and lower point pull drop open extend flex and lower point pull drop open extend flex let's try one more point pull drop open extend flex and now let's reverse so we're going to flex point bend drop open slide down flex lift point bend drop open slide down flex point bend drop open slide down flex point bend drop open try one more flex point bend drop open and slide down from there let's lift our top leg to a tip level we're gonna rotate it so that the side of your leg faces the ceiling make it so level that you could balance a cup of tea right here on your hip inhale forward we flex exhale extend and point inhale front exhale back so on this one nothing else should be moving no swaying of the hips extend front and reach back extend front and back extend front and back inhale front let's do two more inhale front and one more of those inhale front exhale back how about round your jaw we're going to take it front up behind and down circle front lift behind and down circle front lift behind and down circle front lift behind now let's reverse stretch it back lift up and then come down in the front extend back lift up and lower in front extend back lift up and lower in front one more extend back lift up and lower in front good now i want you to bend your knees so your heel touches your butt pull the knee through extend and then sweep back so we're going to bend pull through extend sweep it's like a very slow motion bicycle movement bend pull through extend let's do one more bend pull through extend and sweep now let's reverse sweep front bend push through then stretch sweep front bend push through then stretch sweep front bend push through and stretch sweep front bend push through let's try one more sweep front bend push through and stretch and then bring your leg back to neutral we're still hip level but now rotate your toes down a little bit in small tight circles one two three four five six seven eight nine ten nine eight seven six five four three two reverse one two three four five six seven eight ten nine eight seven six five four three two one hold the leg up and then let's lower the leg down so now we're gonna lift top bottom bottom top up up down down up up down down and again i'm doing this with a little bit of internal rotation instead of external rotation so instead of bringing my heels together i'm bringing my toes together up up down two more up up down one more up up down down now let's lift both legs circle around five four three two one and then let's go backwards please five four three two one and then just hold your legs up try to go a little more a little more and then finally all the way down from there roll on to your belly Ooh, let's stretch it all out and breathe good now i want you to slide your elbows in closer to your body separate your feet about hips distance and then we're going to lengthen the spine and press up. So now we're on our forearms looking out. Make a fist with your hands like you're holding on to ski poles. And make sure that we don't let the head drop back down. We're keeping it looking out. We're going to do single leg kicks. So all we're going to do is pull one heel towards your butt. Now you flex your foot or point your toes. It doesn't matter. Bring it down and then sharpen it on the other side. So let's kick, 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 kick. We've got eight and seven and six there's five there's four there's three there's two and one all right let's release come on down ah and breathe 
All right, hands under shoulders again. Tuck your elbows in, press down through your hip bones, lengthen your spine, rise up and up and up and up. But this time we're gonna press all the way back and up. Extended child's pose, stretch. Scoop the belly in, let's round up. So keep a nice cat back stretch. Sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart, cow. And then make your way back to a neutral place. From there, let's extend right arm, left leg out. Exhale, lower, switch, inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower, inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower. Now on these, you're really reaching out, making sure we have a straight line from our tailbone to the crown of our head. And this is gonna be level one, so you're gonna keep doing this at your own pace. Okay, level two people, we're gonna work at my pace. And level two is all about the plank. So for level two, first thing we're gonna do is simply build a plank. Stepping the feet back, we've got our fingers wide spread, hands rotated in slightly, and keep your weight towards that index finger knuckle. You're gonna lift, cross, pull, lower, switch. Lift the leg, push to the heel, come forward, lower, switch. Up, cross, pull, lower, switch. Lift, 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 cross, pull, try two more. Lift, cross, pull one more. Lift, cross, pull, lower, stay. Now both heels, cross, pull, cross, pull. Cross, two more, cross, one more. Cross, pull, hold. Is to your knees, we'll stretch back and breathe. All right, come back up into your cat back stretch. Sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart, cow. And then make your way back to neutral. All right, so now we're gonna keep the back shoulder directly over the wrist and turn to face front. Top arm, top leg extend. Now you can keep the side of your bottom knee down for level one or level two. We'll straighten it out. Now stretch over the ear, come up to the ceiling, scoop through, come back up and reach back. So let's exhale over. Inhale, lift, exhale, scoop, inhale, stretch. Exhale over, inhale, lift, exhale, scoop, inhale, stretch. Exhale over, inhale, lift, exhale, scoop, inhale, two more. Exhale over, inhale, lift, exhale, scoop. How about one more? Exhale over, inhale, lift, exhale, scoop, inhale, stretch. Come back to neutral. Good, bottom knee down. Top knee down, let's sink right down onto our hip. Bring your knees and feet as close together as you can. So if you have to keep them splayed apart, that's okay. But we're gonna hold on to our one ankle with our one hand and then take the other arm high. And do a little side stretch over and come back up. Side stretch over and come back up. Now as you side stretch, let your fingers walk away and then come back up. Try again, walk away and back up. Walk away. Now this time as we come up, we're gonna bring the top arm down, bring the other arm around, pull your chest towards the mat, inhale, push up, exhale, side bend. Inhale, lift, exhale, rotate, inhale, push, exhale, side. Inhale, lift, exhale, rotate, inhale, lift. How about one more? Inhale, lift, exhale, rotate, Inhale, lift, exhale, side, and then lift up and release. All right, so now we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna first start out in our side planks. So we've got shoulder over wrist. Remember to spread those fingers out wide. Press down through that index finger knuckle. Top arm, top leg, extend. Bottom side knee down for level one. Level two, stretch it straight. Exhale across, inhale, lift. Exhale, thread, inhale, stretch. Exhale, over, inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop, inhale, stretch. Exhale, over, inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop. How about two more? Exhale, over, inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop, inhale, last one. Exhale, over, inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop, and inhale, stretch. And then just hang out. Everybody's bottom knee down, top knee down. And again, we'll sit on that hip. 
Knees and feet stacked in as close as we can for our body. Holding ankle with one hand, some the other arm high. So we side bend and come back up. Side bend and come back up. This time side bend, let your fingers walk away and come back up. Side bend, fingers walk away and back up. Side bend, fingers walk away. Now as we come up, the top arm lowers, the back arm comes around from behind, chest towards the mat. Inhale, push up, exhale over. So we inhale, lift, exhale, pull down. Inhale, lift, exhale, side bend. Inhale, lift, exhale, rotate down. Inhale, lift, exhale, side bend. Let's do two more. Inhale, lift, exhale, rotate down. Inhale, lift, exhale, we've got one more. Inhale, lift, exhale, rotate down. Inhale, lift, exhale, side bend. And then we're up and can let that arm float down. All right, very good. From there, let's come back around and have a seat. And the next two exercises we're gonna do require a straight spine and straight legs. So again, if you've got tight hamstrings, just grab a pillow or you can roll up your mat. And we're gonna sit on that to elevate our hips a little bit. So the first exercise is seated twist. We're gonna keep our legs together on this one. Cup of tea balanced on our head. Arms extend wide, palms facing the sky. On the exhale, we're gonna rotate, pulling the belly in even tighter. Inhale back through center, exhale to the other side. Inhale, center. So we've got a twist, pulse, center. Exhale, inhale. in the legs, but no wider than our hips. Other, everything else is the same. We're gonna inhale, rotate. On the exhale, we're gonna slice off our pinky toe. Notice my back arm is still in a straight line with my front arm. Inhale, come up, rotate all the way, exhale forward. So it's inhale, lift, twist, exhale. Inhale, rotate. elevation if we're using it. And we'll bring our legs back together. And then from here, let's bend the knees. Hands behind the thighs. Once again, shoulders dropped open. Keep the head up, keep the back nice and long, and then find your balance on your tailbone. Once ready, start extending your legs without rounding your back. Once you found that place, add your arms. Let's circle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold. Now open slowly down, down to the ground. Once you're down, inhale, sweep your arms around, palms face up. Exhale, tighten the belly, we're coming back up. So level one, you simply bend your knees, hands behind thighs. And then inhale, we all reach up. Exhale, we're opening down, down to the ground. Try again, arms around, palms up, big inhale, exhale, pull up. Inhale, reach, exhale, opening down, down to the ground. Arms around, palms up, big inhale, exhale, come together. Inhale, reach, exhale, open down, down to the ground. Arms around, palms up, big inhale, exhale, coming up. 
Inhale, reach up. Exhale, opening down. Down to the ground. Again, arms around, palms up. Big inhale. Exhale, coming up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open it down. Down to the ground. Let's try one more. Arms around, palms up. Big inhale. Exhale, come up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, opening down. Down to the ground. Once down, ah, stretch it out. Breathe. All right, so let's keep the legs straight closest to me. Bend the back knee, foot on the mat. That simply helps you roll onto your side. And we should be ready to do our other side. So if you ended up on the same hip, make sure you flip around and you're not lopsided. We can be on our forearm, elbow under shoulder, ribs off the mat, or we could be down on our straight arm. We're all gonna move our legs to the front edge of our mat and then a little beyond that. So we have that good boomerang shape to the body. Top leg point, flaps. Inhale, exhale. One more. Now let's reverse. It's a flex and a point. Last one. Flex and point. Now trace a line up your thigh with your toe. Drop your knee down, up, extend, flex, and lower. So I've got point pull, drop open, extend, flex, and lower. Point pull, drop open, extend, flex, and lower. Point pull, drop open, extend, flex. Try one more. Point pull, drop open, extend, flex, and lower. Now let's reverse. So it's a flex point, bend, lower lift, and send it down. Flex point, bend, lower lift, slide down. Flex point, bend, lower lift, slide down. Flex point, bend, lower lift. How about one more? Flex lift point, bend, lower lift, and slide down. From there, let's go ahead and lift our legs to what's hip level. Rotate it so the side of your leg is facing the ceiling. I'm gonna pull the leg forward while we flex, extend back as we point. So it's inhale front, exhale back, inhale front, exhale back, inhale front, exhale back. Keeping the leg nice and level with the hip. The rest of the body is super still. Inhale front, exhale back, inhale front, Exhale, two more, inhale, front. Exhale, one more, inhale, front. Exhale, back. Now let's round the jump. Front up, behind and down. Circle front, and down. Circle front, and one more, circle front. And now let's reverse. We go back, come up, and then down in the front. Extend back, lift up, and down in the front. Extend back, lift up, come down in the front. Once more, extend, lift back, and come down in the front. And then once we're back to the front, we're gonna bend the knee, pull the heel towards your butt, pull the knee through, extend, and sweep. So we've gotta bend, pull through, extend, sweep. Bend, pull through, extend, sweep. Bend, pull through, extend. Let's do one more. Bend, pull through, extend. Now reverse that. Sweep, sweep, front, we bend. Push through, then stretch. Sweep front, bend, push through, stretch. Sweep front, bend, push through, stretch. Sweep front, bend, push through. We've got one more. Sweep front, bend, push through, and stretch. And then just bring your leg back to that neutral position. Internal rotation, tiny circles. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold up and then lower down. So now lift top, bottom, bottom, top. Up, up, down, down. 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 Up, up. Three more sets. Up. Up, two more sets, up, up, one more set, up, up, down, and down. Both legs together, lift up, circle five, four, 
three, two, one, and then go backwards. Here's five, and four, and three, and two, and one. And then just hold your legs up. Go a little more, a little more, and then finally, whew, all the way down. Let's roll onto that belly, and we'll stretch it out. All right, so now we're gonna move into our double leg kick. So for this one, you're gonna keep your legs together at all times, legs and feet together. Bring your hands around behind you. You're gonna hook your hands together, whatever way works best for you. And then bring your hands up to kind of like your middle back and work at pulling your elbows down. While we're doing that, we're gonna kick our butt three times with our heels. One, two, three. On the inhale, arms and legs pull straight. We look straight out. Turn, look the other way, elbows down. Kick, one, two, three. Inhale, pull. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, pull. Elbows down, kick, kick, kick. Arms go straight, looking out. Elbows down, kick, two, three. Arms go straight, looking out. Elbows down, kick, two, three. Arms go straight, looking out. Elbows down, kick, two, three. Arms go straight. One more time, elbows down, kick two, three, and pull straight hold. Now stay up, bring your arms around, rotate your palms a little bit towards the sky, open the legs, but no wider than your hips, and start pumping up, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lift up. A little more and sink down. Whew. Slide your hands close to your shoulders, tuck your elbows in, press through the tops of your feet and your hip bones, lengthen your spine and start to rise. Push back, let your tailbone meet your heels, forehead meets the mat and breathe. Whew. Scoop the belly and let's round, 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 come up your cat. Sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your, open your head, heart, cow, and then back to neutral. And then from here, I want you to just come around and have a seat. And we're gonna stretch our legs out straight. Make your fingertips point towards your bottom. All right, so what I want you to do is really press down into your palms. Again, think about keeping your weight towards your index finger knuckles. Tighten the belly, and we're gonna press our hips away from the mat. That's going to bring us into reverse plank. So I'm going to give you an option to stay right here, or you can add your leg toss. Lift, flex, lower switch. Lift, flex, lower switch. Lift, flex, lower switch. Lift, flex, lower switch. Lift, flex. We've got three more. Lift, flex. How about last two? Lift, flex. Here's one more. Lift, flex, lower. Hold it. Everybody's down. Ooh, and once everybody's down, got a little bend in our knees. I want you to come forward, hook around your big toes, pull your ribs to your thighs, and then see if you can push your legs straighter. Good, and then let's rise up from there. And then once we're all the way up, we'll come back around onto all fours. And then I want you to take your left foot forward. Keep both hands to the inside of your left foot and pull your right thigh towards the mat. So I want you to feel that stretch in your hip flexor on the right side and the hamstring of the left side. And if you want to, you can actually drop a little further down. And then let's walk in. And once you're up, just send your left leg behind, reach your right arm forward, stretch. Good, and then we're back to all fours and now switch. So let's step right foot forward this time. Both hands to the inside of the right foot. We start pulling the front of our left thigh forward. We're gonna get a good stretch in the front of that left thigh and a good stretch in the back of our right thigh. And again, you can walk yourself down a little further if you'd like.
and then we can walk the hands back in. Let's extend the right leg back, reach the left arm forward. Nice long stretch. And let's come back onto all fours. And then from there, let's just tuck our toes under, walk our hands towards our knees, come on up to a kneeling position. Let your hands hook behind you, pull down, open your heart, open your throat. And let's come back to a neutral place and release. And you can come around and have a seat. And then just let your fingertips reach out alongside you. Inhale to the sky. Exhale back down. Inhale. Exhale again. Inhale. And exhale. This time we're going to inhale. Big stretch. Let your right arm lower. Keep your left hand high. A little side bend. Sweep forward and around. Come up and side bend. Come on back to neutral. Bring the right hand up. Same thing, left hand comes down, stretch a little higher. Side bend, sweep around, come up. Again, side bend, sweep around, reach out and come up. Good, and now let that arm lower down. And let's do a couple shoulder rolls from back to front. Make them a little bit bigger. Nice full circles. Four, and three, and two. And one, and then just stretch out, push out through the heels of your hands, point your fingertips down. And then let's bring your wrist in under your armpits. Think about holding a glass of water sideways in your hands and simply dump the water out over your thumbs. And while you do that, expand and open your heart, open your throat. And then come around with the back of your hands to meet. And release. Whew. All right, we made it. We made it through our traditional Pilates class this morning. I hope you feel energized. Don't forget to hydrate lots and lots and lots of water. Keep your muscles nice and juicy. And as my sweatshirt says that my wonderful friend Joanne gave me, kindness is contagious. So pass it on, random acts of kindness all day long, every day, whenever you can. Let's change the world, all right? Don't forget, one of the best ways to be kind to yourself and to others is to wear a mask that covers your nose and your mouth. Wash your hands 20 seconds at a time and make sure that you're keeping your distance to keep others safe and yourself safe, all right? Very nice. I will be back in touch this evening to let you know what we have going on tomorrow. I hope you have a joyful rest of your day. And thank you for joining me. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.